Office but Gandalf. I do know how. Gandalf. how to... Fly, you fools! That's not from the subway. Fly, you fool! Yeah. <laughs> Hello, friends, and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be trying to get and use some Snapchat spectacles. Snapchat came out with this product called Spectacles about a month-ish ago. So these spectacles are basically sunglasses that have a little camera on one side. It's almost like a GoPro. You hit a button, and it records. I think for like ten seconds and then it like syncs with your Snapchat, mm -hmm. and then you can just upload it to your Snapchat. Since then, they've only been selling them at Snapbot vending machines across America. The big thing is that the Snapbot dispenses until it's out for that day, and then it goes to sleep, right? Yeah. And so it has a very limited supply. You have to know where it is. You have to get there fast. It's a lot of moving dynamics. It's pretty tricky. But there is a semi-permanent pop-up in New York City that was open from like what, like mid-November until New Year's Eve. Yeah. We're in New York City visiting Tyler's sister for the holidays. This is her spot, her place, her pad, her crib, if you will. I thought that it was gonna be like I could put them on, and then Sof would just have like a, a dog lens on. Yeah. And she just go. <laughs> Which one is this? Which lens is this, Sof? Ready? And that's the rainbow. I also really like the one that's like, it's like your face is a mitten. What about this one, ready? What's that one? Is that flower crown? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like in general, I probably wouldn't have gone for them, except that I want to know what they are like. And I feel like it's also like shrouded in mystery. It is shrouded in mystery. You know, it's like, oh, Snapchat spectacles. It seems like a fun gadget and it seems like it's gonna be fun to try out, but we don't know, which is why we gotta go get them and try it. Let's do it. We're gonna get on the train, we're gonna go to the pop-up shop, and we're gonna get these bad boys. It's raining out in NYC today. And Maybe not the best day to use the Snapchat spectacles, but we're gonna get the Snapchat spectacles. We can get spectacles. it, we can use them tomorrow. They're really the hard next to get day. There. They are really hard to get. You're banking on it not being that new, and it's cold and wet outside, and we're the only ones crazy enough to say it out there. Hopefully. We're just gonna try and get one pair between the both of us. I don't think we need to. There could be a long line. We could be stuck outside in the rain. We could wait it out. So we got to the store, Yeah. and it was pouring rain It outside. was raining really hard. Look, it's kind of like the eye of Sauron <laughs> looking at you. Two towers. One pair of sunglasses to rule them all. One dog lens to bind them. I think the pouring rain helped a lot with how quickly we could go get Told. them. Okay, so we're in. They had to show our credit card and ID at the door. And babe, show them your hand stamp. They gave us a hand stamp. They look like spectacles to me. So we walked in and it's kind of like a big room. Yeah with like the ropes for the line in the middle and then they have screens on the side yeah. playing Snapchat spectacles. And they're all rotating to kind yeah. of demonstrate that you can when you're watching a video taken with spectacles, rotate it because it's a circular video. Hey Saf, did you know that the uh, video is a circle? What? A circle? Like a, like a monocle? I love that the use case they gave for this thing is like, you're a dad with a lot of adorable kids. So we walked right up to the Snapbot. He's so bashful. My new friend. And the Snapbots make like cute little noises. Yeah, they're pretty he, adorable. He's like a little pigeon. He's like, hi there, choose a color. He's mad at you now, Saf. Black. Ooh, those oh. are cool. So you walk up, you shell over 130 bucks. It's pretty pricey. It's also it kind of jarring to go up to a vending machine and put your money into a vending machine. It'd be like $130. Even though we already knew that we were gonna spend that money, I've never bought anything more expensive out of a vending machine than the $2 Pop-Tarts. Is it gonna come out of his mouth? Whoa! Oh wait, here, I got a receipt. Rainbow. Do you reach in? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Wow, it looks like tennis balls. <laughs> One of the store employees was really helpful and she helped us set up the whole thing right then and there. Yeah. And then you can rename them, you just can't erase the sunglasses emoji. Okay, I'm naming it Soft's Bifocals. Nice. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay. But it'll say select an accessory and in a few seconds it'll pop up. The cool thing about this is that I set it up to my Snapchat and my phone, but it doesn't like have an owner. It can get paired to my phone, or if Tyler wants to take it somewhere, it can get paired to his phone. The little button to record is right here, mm -hmm. and then you record out of this little thing right there. Okay, ready? Make sure your Bluetooth is on. Is I'm working? taking a video of you. Ooh, look yeah. at that. Little, I can see there's a little, little white light on the there. inside. I can see it too. You can see it? Okay, well then, so it's not so secret. So you can't just sneak photos of me. I can't just be like you a creeper just... and just be like, Oh, you can be a creeper. The cool thing about the spectacles is that you can film longer than 10 seconds. Yeah. And so what you do is you click it once for 10 seconds, twice for 20 seconds, and three times for 30 seconds. Sof I think is... I'm taking a 20 second video now. Stop is Double literally tap for 20. Neo. 
Are you dodging bullets right now? Yeah. On your snap video? Well, I don't know. It might not be a very good video. Oops. Don't worry, it's not recording. I'm just looking at your boobs, it's not recording. Uh, You've gone through a lot of lengths to do this, Tyler. You could have probably just asked me. It was raining pretty hard, and I was nervous about taking these guys out in the rain. We recorded a little bit of the subway. Oh, hello there, new friend. Does this make you feel uncomfortable? My hand on your leg? No, 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 that, that makes me feel uncomfortable to recording me. A little bit back at Tyler's sister's apartment. Yeah. With Tyler's sister's really cute dog. We Which was a great use case. Exactly. Because he ran right up to us and it was so easy just to hit it and record him as he was like jumping at our face. We're like, dog, dog, dog. Oh, hi, puppy. Hi. So the next day when it wasn't raining, we went out, we got some good footage. We're out today doing our filming with the Snapchat spectacles. Is it weird that I kind of feel like Casey Neistat right now? No, Casey always has new and different cameras. And he's wearing sunglasses all the time. Was that good? This kind of incited like strange walking patterns in myself yeah. where like I wanted to record a street food vendor. And so I put these on and I clicked for 20 seconds and I kind of just started pacing back and forth. And he was like, near him. hey. He was like, hi. And you I want was a like, falafel? You can see me. Something that I noticed after I downloaded some of the footage was that my hair would oftentimes come in front of the lens slightly. There's definitely like times in which it's not that convenient slash you look kind of weird doing it. Babe, the hood is covering your whole lens. I'm not recording. Yeah. <laughs> They're sunglasses. So when you want to record something either inside or at night, you're wearing sunglasses at night. I kind of tried to get around this by holding my glasses. I think for a couple of them, my finger got in the way because I was holding them like a camera and I was like, Marr. just be careful of obscuring the little camera because that's where the magic happens. I wasn't used to filming with my head. So when I was using it, I was just sort of like, you have to control head movements very particularly. And it's just like, it's just something I'm not used to. Like maybe I'll get used to it over time. The other thing about that though, is that I find a lot of the time my arm gets tired from holding a camera or a phone yeah. like this. And there's none of that with these bad boys. No, so it's really easy. I also think that the fashion of them isn't too bad. No, they're pretty cool looking. I think that because they're unisex, they can, are a little bit more wide set. Yeah. So it doesn't look super buggy. It was very Pokemon Go-ish. Yes. Like, it got us out of the apartment. We were walking around. It was a blast to use. I think a good way to kind of figure out how important it is is like comparing it kind of like a drone. A drone is super cool. You don't really need one. You can watch other people use it. If someone is using it, they can like hand you the controller. You can fly it around a little bit, totally. try not to crash it. I think if you have a close friend or a family member who's really into tech products, gadgets, or Snapchat, they might really love this. I'm not gonna say you need these things. No, yeah. But we did have a really good time. I think there are definitely situations in which this would actually be more useful than Snapchatting on your phone. It's for hiking or like when you're like riding a bike. Yeah. Right? So like when it really is hard for you to take out your phone, like being a parent, like your kids are running around, like exactly. you're trying to like corral them and stuff, like it'd be, you're like, I wanna get this moment. And it'd be easier for you just to be able to have the sunglasses on. More like daytime, summertime activities with the fam, with the dog, with, you know, yeah. that kind of stuff. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And uh, if you wanna see more videos like this, click that subscribe button, smash it. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Here are my social media handles. Check out my next beat. I vlog live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. You'll be there and I'll be there. And we'll both be there. Krusty will be there too. Sometimes, most of the time, every single time Krusty will be there. Okay, guys. 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 Okay, guys.